Good morning everyone, hope things are well. By the time you're watching this video, I'm gonna be flying back to the UK. My time in Japan is now done. I'm looking forward to getting back into Newcastle. And one of the big things that was happening this week is the Salah Cup weekend. So on Friday, we are playing Girona, a game that is gonna be completely fine. You've got nothing to worry about. If you have bought tickets for the Girona game, it is expected to go ahead and you shouldn't have any concerns about that. However, Saturday is a different question. Now, never in a million years as a Newcastle United content creator did I think that I'll be making a video like this. And my job as a Newcastle United content creator is simple. You guys watching, you want to know stuff, my job is to tell you that stuff. It's to make sure that every single one of you is fully aware of what is going on with this football club. And in quite a rare occurrence in this situation, to make sure that all of you are safe, all of you are well looked after, and make sure that whatever is going on with Newcastle United, just make, making sure you're all okay. Because the Salah Cup weekend's coming up. Is This is a weekend that is designed for families. It is designed for you. If you don't have a season ticket, to bring your kids along to the game and just enjoy a good atmosphere at St James's Park against Champions League opposition. And it is highly likely, in my personal opinion, probable that the United game against Stade Bonos on Saturday will be called off. If the game is not called off, there will be a club statement that will be issued out by Newcastle United while also being joint with enough from your police with contingency plans to make sure that you are all fully aware of what is happening on Saturday and there will be plans in place to make sure that everyone will get the game as safe as possible and it's important for you all to listen to those plans if they do come out because there was a protest taking place on Saturday now, for me, I can't go into details about the protest. I think the biggest mistake you can make as a content creator is to talk opinions on politics. Now, with UK being such a, a divided nation at the minute, no matter what I say in politics, there's always going to be people that are going to be upset because there's so many different viewpoints, and that is the, the point of freedom of speech. But however, there was a, a line that you don't cross, and you've seen, especially over sun in the last couple of days, that a line has been crossed. Police stations have been burned down, there's been shots that have been looted, there's been people that are going out of their way to cause violence and to make the local area quite a dangerous place to be in. And that is in Sunderland, it is just next to Newcastle and it's only a matter of time before this will happen in Newcastle. And there's a protest on Saturday taking place at Monument, which is of course a major area where Newcastle United fans will be using it as access for the game. Well, it is entirely possible that it is going to be a dangerous situation to be on. And as I just said in the intro and his families and kids going to the game, it's something that Newcastle can't do. And as I also said before, the fact that police stations in Sunderland have been burnt down, this is, of course, someone that is going to be potentially targeted towards the police. So when Newcastle United need a certain amount of police officers on the day that are going to be at St James's Park, it is likely that enough of your police will just tell Newcastle, we don't have the officers available don't have the match on and you've already seen over the past week or so that smaller events have been cancelled because of ongoing protests so when it's Newcastle United, yes it's a pre-season match it's not going to be a sellout crowd but the women's team also plays in the same day so the fun of your police will actually have to be there from around 10 o'clock in the morning all the way to around 5 p.m so that quite literally the entire day there will have to be police officers at St James's Park and that's a lot of workload to be there when you have such a major protest taking place in the centre of Newcastle and it's not a Premier League game. I like to state the obvious, it's not a Premier League game. There's no Sky, there's no TNC, there's no broadcasting company that is pumping billions of pounds into this match. So Newcastle, in an, a potential situation, if they wanted to, they could have had the match behind closed doors. They could still play the games. Fans would be unable to attend, unfortunately, but it, it's not the end of the world. So for the safety of the fans of Newcastle, I must make this clear by the way the Castle United does not want the game to be off but if Newcastle United have no choice and they've got to have the game off they can still potentially play the friendly matches and still get the work done for their players without needing the fans there as much as obviously we don't want that to happen and that's an obvious point to make safety is much bigger than anything else and that's one thing that you guys need to be fully aware of nobody wants to be hurt at the games and I'm not scaremongering by saying I'm not going over the top Look at look at your own eyes, look at what's going on at the minute. There's so much happening. A big major factor is everything really is just being there. The stuff that's happened in South End last week. Three young girls have lost their lives and because of the actions of one person, there's been such a, 
a stern UK now. That's been this situation that's just sparked everything and it's been so much traction with protests happening now where these protests are getting nasty, they're getting negative and they're just getting violent. There's people that are going to protest that don't care about what's being said. People are going there, some individuals, for the sole purpose of fighting police and the sole purpose of trying to steal stuff and just to be a nuisance. And that's the reality we are living in now. If Newcastle are playing on Saturday, what's to say that this protest might not go? Well, actually, we're not going to be up money anymore. Let's go to St James Park, make even more noise outside the stadium. And there's, there's nothing stopping them from doing that. So in the police's interest, they will tell Newcastle United, we do not want this game on or we want to do this to make sure that the game can be on but they have to do our way, they've got to do our strategy and that's something you need to be aware of. A club statement will come out from this and Newcastle Trust has actually already contacted the club about this but they haven't heard a reply yet so expect over the next day or two where we will get a response from Newcastle and we will have a 100% answer of what's going on but you need to understand that it is, it is not all sunshine and rainbows, it is a legit safety concern that could potentially get the game called off. I think it is more likely that the game will be called off. It'll have to give you an answer now. That could change over the next day. Maybe someone gets put out on social media and all of a sudden my opinion might swerve. But at this current time, honest as possible, when I'm talking to the camera, I personally think there is a high chance that the game will be called off and you guys need to be fully aware of that. And the last thing I want to see is for me to go on social media and I find out there's a couple of Newcastle fans where something's happened. And just a, a major disclaimer, by the way, so for anyone that is a, attempting to attend the protest, there is now a new plan that has been put out from the police to Premier League clubs where if you are spotted participating with any crime, any criminal activity, or it could even be as unlucky as being in potentially the wrong place at the wrong time, if you are spotted being involved in any crimes or being spotted in an area where there is criminal activity taking place, you will now be potentially possible to receive a five-year ban from attending football matches. So you guys know as any Castle season ticket holder, if you lose your season ticket now, you are not getting it back. So do not be that individual that gets made an example out of. I think in the UK, especially towards football fans, the police do not mess around. So if you are caught potentially doing anything like that, they're not playing around. They will ban you immediately and it's so that it's going to continue happening until the UK does something about it. And that, that's all I'm going to say. So hopefully you've got someone away from that video. If you have any questions, please, please, please uh, feel free to ask me. I'll try my best to answer them. I'm hoping that I haven't rambled on for a bit too long there. But I just wanted to make you all fully aware that it's entirely possible that Saturday's game will be called off. So this is the women's team against AC Milan. And then the men's team taking on Stead Breast Dot. It's entirely possible that the game can get called off. I've heard some people suggest, oh, why not move to the Sunday item? We'll move it one day after the protest. Now, because of the fact that we have the women's team from Milan and also a French team, both of them have booked flights, booked hotels, they booked everything up, assuming that the game will be played on Saturday. So I think it's very inconvenient and hard to be able to move an extra day later because they had to rebook the flights and rebook all that money that they spent and put an extra day on it. So I don't know if that's possible, but... We'll see what happens over the next day or so. I'm sure information is going to come out, so I'll update when that happens. But for now, I try my best to answer the question. That is all I know at the minute. I'm recording this on UK time. It will be Monday afternoon. So I'll be uploading this on the Tuesday morning when I'm on the flight going back to the UK. So apologies if it's outdated. To my understanding, nothing's came out. This is what is happening by the time I record this video. So if anything changes, of course, my apologies. But for now, though, hopefully that's given you as much information as possible. But I wish you all the best. Please be safe if the game is on. Take care and just listen. If there's any statement coming out from the cast now, just listen to what they have to say because it is important.